the action here at TempleCon 2015 still going. Um, we are surrounded by Iron Arena players. Every single table is full over here. And behind me, the tournaments still continue. Uh, swamp Shamblers, Swamp Shamblers, Swamp Shamblers. Shamblers. If you've never made it out to TempleCon, it's a great show here in the Northeast. I definitely suggest it. We're out here every year, and there's, there's tons of players having a great time. And, you know, we'd love to see you make it out. Tons of Swamp Shamblers having a great time, too. I mean, they're all doing the Thriller dance. That the concept art for those poses was drawn directly from that Michael Jackson video. Was it really? No. Oh. Here's a little little view of TempleCon. Uh, yep, over in the uh, corner hall that we're we're in, a pile of cables and a pile of Iron Arena players duking it out for their skulls to get some prizes back here at the Iron Arena headquarter table. So, so over back here... To the game. we got a headbutt happening. Yep. So, back to the game. Yeah, it looks like... I'm is that a swamp horror headbutting? No, that, that had to be the Ironback. Yes, it was the Ironback spitter headbutting Malakarn, but Malakarn's now knocked down, no damage. Four, four damage to the six from a bite. So the bull, the bull snapper has just uh, put his spiny growth animus on the swamp horror, and the swamp horror advances to Mullet Karn. It's going to give him a big eight legged tentacle hug. I'm glad you said hug. No damage. Wow, three tentacle attacks, no damage. Not a single point. It really was a hug. Yeah, you give him a hug, like I said. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Let's be friends. <laughs> Four points there. Two to the four. Ooh. Three to the six with another beak attack. One to the four. Man, it almost it almost would have been worth going for those critical catastrophic damage rolls just to just to fill in some you don't spirals. You don't expect your damage rolls, every single damage roll, to be below average. I mean, I think his high roll was a six. Well, I mean, average on 2d6 is a four, right? Apparently. <laughs> it is when I play. Ooh, Eight to the three. There we go. A bull snapper bite. Bull. Another Six attack off. for five to the four. That takes him down. Up, oh, little victory dance from Ricard. <laughs> These guys are almost as funny as you and I are, plumber. Almost, don't worry. <laughs> I was about to cry there. For them. <laughs> Rask is activating. Casts Fury on the Swamp Shamblers. I think we might see that Boker going into that Gladiator. Just a theory. <clears throat> that sounds reasonable. Um, I'm not sure which Shamblers go with which Boker, but I think, yeah, you had this one sort of center field in range. I think the yellow ones go with the one on the bottom of the screen, and the blue ones are with the one on the top of the screen. Oh, look, more of that clever color coding. It's like they thought of everything. I should paint more.
Ricard is thinking about shooting. Yep, he's boosting the hit. Uh, Satrati is trying to take off Defender's Ward. That Satrati is engaged. <clears throat> he just hits with his uh, Arcane Interference, so he removes Defender's Ward, which is going to be a little bit of a handicap on the Deaf and Armor that they've been enjoying. Ricard heals himself with one fury. So those blue shamblers are moving and shaking. Boker's moving into those Trotty. Trying to clear off that flag. I think those two are the only ones that are contesting right now. So they're advancing. Another boxcars. So that's trying to get one box left. Uh, no, no, he does one damage. Excuse me. Uh, There's a goes. miss. Using that death magic. Yep, five, five points. More points. <coughs> death magic allowing him to remove a shambler to buy an attack or boost a damage roll. Spawn another attack using death magic and death magic again to boost damage. So far, those Satrati are still holding on. There's a yeah. there's a big, big, Five points big hit. Kills one of them. One down now. That's a hit. Man, these dice minus four here. Three more points. It's a hit. Buy an attack. Uh, I think this is a boost of boost damage. Boost of damage. Actually. Seven more points. There he goes. Take him. That cost a whole lot of Swamp Shamblers to remove those two Satrati. It did. But, but it does free up that flag. Totally worth it. <laughs> that clock is really starting to tick down. I'm wondering... Yeah, so this, that gobber is not so great with the command checks. <clears throat> Same influence from Long Eye on Citrati, but. That Citrati is engaged by a shambler. Maybe not. <laughs> Boxcars, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> it's 
one Citrati. shot. Oh my goodness. Citrati kills Citrati. Uh, that, that attack was made much more lethal by the fact that uh, while Ricard controlled that Satrati, the other one did not have shield, did not benefit from shield wall. Correct. So now we see the other unit of Shamblers activating. Looks like they're moving into that gladiator just like I thought <coughs> they would. Or I think we're going to see the, uh, of course, we're going to see the Shamblers make their attacks first before the Boker so and that he can utilize them all to hopefully finish off the gladiator. And that is the unit with Fury on it. Correct. So that combined melee attack. That Boker will be hitting at PAL-15 with his bites. Uh, four and four to the three on the, uh, on the, the Titan. And a miss on the single attack. Vorkesh takes a two-man CMA. Mm -hmm. And not such a good damage roll. If you're going to roll that many box cards, eventually you're going to get a snake eyes. Yep. And here comes the Boker. Five so to the four. Now they're box cards. This many box cards, it's a model train club. Man, these hits. <clears throat> He's going to run out of wounds before Rickard runs out of Swamp Shamblers. He really wants this Gladiator. He's chewing up his clock a bit. Oh, there he goes. But he gets it. <clears throat> but he gets it. Giving him a corpse. So one of the cool things we're seeing there is uh, that Boker can use Death Magic on Swamp Shamblers from the other unit, as long as they're in his command range. So that definitely helped him eat through that hunk of hunk of burning gladiator. Gross. So we've got a, a, a CMA on the, the Tyrant Commander Banner. Banner. I don't know what to call that unit when the Tyrant Commander's dead. <clears throat> I think he's just an and standard bearer. The and standard bearer unit. Man, Good. these damage rolls. All right. Scores a fourth control point. Just clearing up that it is, in fact, four control points for Rickard. So looking at those clocks, things are, things are getting tight for Ricard, and they're not too much better for Jason. The, we've got Charles trying to be humorous on the other end of the mics here, but um, he just can't top Plummer. So Watt uh, making a few decisions, <clears throat> trying to figure out what to do next. He can certainly get somebody in there to contest that flag, but for how long? Because He's got to make sure to do a big move here, um, or Rickard just clears him out again at the end of his turn and and wins. So yeah, I mean, Rickard still got that. Uh, he still got that swamp horror. He still got that bull spitter, or bull snapper. Not, not the bull snapper. The ironback spitter. Excuse me. 
Spit snapper? <laughs> Spits bulls. <clears throat> Arkirai attacking a gator, takes him down. So admonition is still up on Rask. But if he utilizes it, he's not going to be able to dominate that flag anymore. Very true. <clears throat> I think we're going to try to get some Harkurai in here. have an attack on I think that's a Gatorman. It, it's dead, whatever it was. And then uh, I believe he's attacking that Bokur. The Gobber goes flying. So ladies and gentlemen, this is what a game of War Machine and Hordes looks like when you roll mostly sixes on both sides. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so that Bokur and all those corpse tokens go away. So that's going to uh, eliminate all those pesky shamblers. Uh, Ricard did not sacrifice the two remaining ones. <clears throat> In the center of the table, the Citrati have activated. Oh, sorry. The, ba the banner kills that sh one shambler in front of him. Not the Citrati. <clears throat> This is a great game. I mean, the, o the audience has no idea that I'm nodding my head in agreement with you. They do now. Got my radio face on. So thanks to Martial Discipline, the Beast Handler has charged through a number of his own troops, uh, charging a sh Shambler. Yep. And I think we're going to see some more of that. I think that's the last Shambler on the board. Oh, there's a couple left. Yep, we've got two at the center of the board and one up at the top in the forest. <clears throat> Thanks, my eyes are not what they used to be. Well, that screen is only a foot from you. It's true. Ladies and gentlemen, LASIK. Watts trying to confirm how many points are left on the spitter. Spitter has 20 boxes left. That's a, that's a lot of iron back spitter. Yeah. Mm. So try to charging the spitter. <clears throat> what? Checking to make sure which to try to unit is which. Look, look at these rolls. My goodness. So the second charge hits as well. Players are confirming that they rolled the right amount of dice. And I didn't get a total on damage on that spitter, but there were two. It was, it was one, one heavy hit and one very uh, average, but it's a weapon pretty, master charge hit. Yeah, I mean, pr pretty good hits there, right? <clears throat> so probably Xerxes is now dominating his flag. 
and uh, attacking that that Boker. See if we can take him down. That was a charge attack, and uh, so we will have no more spawning uh, swamp shamblers. Yep. He used overtake to change his facing following the charge. So Trotty charging Rask. And one charging the spitter. Yep. Martial discipline continuously coming into play with this army. Jason getting a, getting really a knows lot of models by that flag. The, the remaining uh, Satrati are running. And that unit is still full. Uh, full six man unit. So. Versus the Ironback Spitter first. Ooh, I bet he wishes he attacked Rask with that roll. <laughs> it's a, a roll of 11 on the attack roll. Damage roll, not the best. On Rask is a miss. He's still got a lot of meat to break through this turn, though. Yep. And it sounds like that Ironback Spitter has a single health left. And we've so moved back over to Rickard. We're going to have four control turn. points for Rickard. Jason Watt just scored his first, and we're moving into the top of round six. If Rickard can clear out that flag, the game is his. But his resources are dwindling quickly. He's still got that Swamp Horror. That's got quite a, bit, quite a few attacks. Only six minutes left on his clock, though. Ooh, then the spitter is frenzied. Spitter frenzies. Oh, that's, that's not what he wants. Well, at one wound left, maybe it's not the worst thing that could happen. Sure. He is attacking something <coughs> that's contesting that flag. Oh. And actually, that, that spitter frenzied on the Swamp Horror, doing four to the three. Sorry, the Bull Snapper frenzied. Oh, okay. Our judge <laughs> keeps saying spitter, and Plummer and I have a very confused look on our face. But he knows what model. Bull Snapper. When you get to this moment where it's this tense, it's real easy to say something wrong. So we've got a total of six models contesting that flag. Rask up keeps his admonition. Probably a good idea. Uh, while advancing into those uh, cataphracts, yes, good idea. Cast Fury on the Swamp Horror. That was prior to his advance. And then he stabs that Satrati real good for five points. Swamp Horror moves up to base-to-base uh, -base with those Cataphracts. Satrati. Bites him for... Ugh. All, takes him down to one point of damage. Tentacle hits. Uh, that's that'll, that'll do it. So many sixes. Man. <clears throat> I should eBay these dice after the game. What, what is I happening? rest my case. I... You said you rested it. Let, it. let it rest. They're good dice. Oh, my God. You should rest my case, too. I should. Okay, there we go. Swamp Horror kills everything. Yep, Swamp Horror <laughs> is a murder machine. It's true. 
three minutes left on the clock. He's probably sweating, but so that leaves one model contesting the flag, or is it? Nope, two. Sorry, I believe one of those Arcari in the the Arcari in the forest is also contesting. <coughs> Looks like they're looking at a charge angle here for for wrong eye. eye. Two minutes, 25 seconds left on his clock. Still taking the time to make sure everything is proper and correct. And not, not getting tilted, still playing very calmly. Here comes that attack roll. Sweet mother of dice. Takes him down. Buys an attack. <laughs> Watts, Watts got a finger crossed. Misses. Buys an attack. This is it. Like if it Hits. He has no more boosting left, I don't believe. Oh. That does it. What a game. Oh, my goodness. So Rickard wins by wiping out six models. With the handshake, minute 30 left on his clock. Crazy game. What would you think, Ed? I thought it was fantastic. And the, the, when it comes down to your last boost on a roll uh, for the game, it's, it's absolutely amazing. And I, I was actually thinking that, that Jason had a really good shot there at the end because it was looking pretty grim. But you just you, you never know. And again... Rolling sixes really helps you be good at this game. Yeah, yeah. And, and not, not to slight Rickard. Absolutely. I mean, early on in the game, I, w I was looking at it, and, you know, he took that early control point, and I, I said, you know, that's it. I, I thought he was going to win it from that. But then Jason was able to bring it back, and he really swarmed in there, and I'm sitting here thinking, that's it. Jason's going to win. And Rickard comes back in with wrong eye, gets that last kill. Holy. Yeah, and uh, I, had, I had a few people... Um, you know, looking at this matchup from the beginning and thinking, well, this game's going to be clocked because there's, it's just going to be such a big jam in the middle sure. with so many wounds to be taken throughout the entire game. And, you know, but the, these guys know their armies and the, what they were able to pull off, you know, was just a, a good, solid game and, a, and, you know, for Ricard, a good, solid win. Absolutely. You know, Jason Watt can't feel bad about losing that one. I, th I think it was a great game, one of the best games I've seen in a long time. And I'm really excited to go on and play some more Machine Hordes myself when we get back to Seattle. Absolutely. Well, uh, thank you to everyone who, you know, stopped on the stream and watched the game. Thanks to everybody here at TempleCon uh, in Warwick, Rhode Island. My name is Michael Plummer. And I'm Ed Burrell. And uh, we hope you had as much fun as we did. We're going to sign off now. Have a great night. Thank you, and goodbye.